Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, this video is a little uh, later than I usually upload. I was watching some Champions League soccer, watching Liverpool get the dub. The guys was able to pull it out. But you guys didn't come here for soccer talk. You came here to talk about the Baltimore Ravens, right? So listen, there's not one big issue, but there was an issue on Sunday's game that that's been an issue for a, a, quite a long time, at least in this great Roman era that, that I can remember, is that the Ravens get to the line way too slowly. Um, they seven, six, five seconds left on the play clock, and now Lamar Jackson has to hurry up to try to uh, get the ball snapped, right? Now, John Harbaugh had a, pre a press conference yesterday. He answered some questions, and one of the things that he was asked about is what's going on with the play calls? Why do the Ravens constantly have to line up uh, so late into the play clock and have to rush it, right? And interestingly enough, right, he said that, of course, he said, you know, we need to operate a little quicker, uh, and they're working on tightening some things up, and that includes the actual play calls themselves. So he's saying that basically, right, that the Ravens' play calls are too long to get lined up effectively. Now, a couple thoughts on this. One, that sounds a little ridiculous, right? I mean, Lamar Jackson's been in the system for a couple years now, so I can't imagine that the play calls are changing that much and that the play call is that long that it takes him that long to say the play call, right? And if that is the case, then we need Greg Roman to, like they said, like Harbaugh said, tighten up the play calls because there's no reason that the Ravens, right? You line up with seven seconds or less on the play clock. Now you're giving your quarterback no choice but to run the play that's called. Lamar Jackson can't even look at the defense and audible, right? Now there were a couple of times where they got lined up correctly and Lamar Jackson was able to survey the field. I saw him change the play call. It sounded like he was yelling, kill, kill, kill. And actually changed the play call, which I liked, which I like to see. He showed that he has command of the offense. Now, I think that they should do that more. Give, give Lamar Jackson more control, more range over the offense, right? And the way I view it is, like Lamar Jackson, when he plays, has an armband on. So, first of all, if the armbands are numbered properly, um, just shorten up the play calls, man. They don't need to be this Spider 2 wide banana, you know what I'm saying, long play call. Uh, shorten it up and get the guys out there faster. Let's get Lamar Jackson to the line of scrimmage with, with, with 15 seconds, right? So he can view over the defense and look around and see what's going on. Because as it currently stands, there are too many times where they're rushed, which might lead to a timeout. They're rushed, right? which might lead to a bad play. People not lined up correctly. Uh, it didn't happen in the Jets game. But how many times have we seen the Ravens, you know, illegal motion, illegal shift, false start? All of these things can be contributed to rushing. Because you don't have to play call in fast enough. Now, for Harbaugh to say that, you know, we're working on tightening these things up, and then it's interesting because this has been happening for years. So this should have been tightened up. Um, so I'm interested to see in the Dolphins game, right, is that something that's noticeable? Are the Ravens getting to the line quicker? Are the Ravens actually able to operate at a smooth pace and not have to worry about rushing every single thing, right? Um, when the Ravens can get to the line faster, it allows them to do more. All right. Uh, the Ravens have a kind of offense where they can wear you down. So if I'm able to get to the line quick, right. And I have an offense where we're going to pound the ball, power run offense, then I can tire this defense out. But you know, you, you, you're, you're giving, you're essentially giving the defense a break when you take all the way into the play clock to get to the line scrimmage and call a play. Also, you're making the job easier for the defense because, now, say if Lamar Jackson wants to adjust something and he can't adjust it, defense is cool. They can roll with what they got. But if Lamar Jackson is able to change the play, get the Ravens into something better, um, you know, that's that's advantageous for the Ravens, and it makes the defense have to make an adjustment to that. And if they don't, a big play can happen. Right? And lastly, last, last thing, right? Uh, somebody made a good point in the comments yesterday, right? He said it's funny that, uh, or maybe even two days ago, I can't remember, but made, they made a good point. That we've been talking about playing faster as an offense since Joe Flacco was here. No huddles and things like that. And that's true. We have been talking about that for a long time. But it's like the Ravens insist on this slow, methodical, um, you know, get to the line, skirmish slowly. It, when you're doing that, right, you're giving the defense a break, honestly. When you have Lamar Jackson, they got to worry about so many things, right? Add an extra thing on their plate and that's, that's your plan fast, you're playing up tempo. Or even, even this, right? Even if you don't want to commit to full up tempo, which I can understand, right? You don't want to just be one way. 
Because we've seen that with Chip Kelly's offense way back when the Eagles where they go three and out in 20 seconds. And that's not helping anybody. So you, But at the end of the day, the Ravens need balance. And that's the biggest thing in that right there that I think is missing when you have a consistent lack of um, a change in tempo. When your tempo is always slow, the defense is comfortable. They can deal with slow. They get to see everything. And they get to read and react. They're cool. But now, if, the, if you're if you're fast, you're playing fast, right? The defense gotta they gotta change, uh, do some touches faster. They got to uh, look at the personnel and adjust faster. That everything that happens is only an advantage for the Ravens. So the fact that we're now here, in year five for Lamar Jackson, and now we're saying, yeah, we actually gotta tighten up the play calls and things like that. That should have been happened. That should have been happened. Once you realize that after, especially after Lamar's MVP season, right, that he had pretty much full control of this offense, that he could run the offense, hand him the reins, let him operate. Um, there's every quarterback in the league that's an elite quarterback, I'm sure. Even maybe even our elite quarterbacks who've been in the same system for a while have ways where they can take control of the offense. And it's like the Ravens don't give Lamar Jackson that same kind of freedom. And that's what I want to see, honestly, that Lamar doesn't have that same kind of freedom where if if he wants to pick up the pace, he can, he can do that. If he wants to slow it down, he can do that. He's the maestro, right? Now, great Roman, I get it. You call on the place up top. You can't take that away from me. But at the end of the day, you got a special quarterback here. Don't hold him back. Don't make the offense get held back because now we're calling the place slow and things like that, right? Um. So... <laughs> To, to attribute that the fact that the Ravens get to the line of scrimmage slowly to the actual play calls is kind of ridiculous, uh, honestly. So that needs to be changed. I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen in one week. Like I said, I'm really interested to see in the Dolphins game if that change does occur. Because, you know, the Dolphins have a good defense. They're the same defense that tortured us last year. All right. And it wasn't until the second half, until certain adjustments were made, that the Ravens were able to effectively move the ball, and even then, it couldn't really punch it in the end zone as much as they would like to, right? They got embarrassed on Thursday Night Football, we gotta be honest. And I saw this Dolphins defense uh, versus the Patriots last week. Even without Brian Flores, they're still attacking, they're still hunting the quarterback. Uh, I believe they caught, I know they caught at least one pick for sure. They caught it, they got, they forced the force fumble on uh, Mac Jones. Now, obviously, Mac Jones isn't Lamar Jackson, but. The Dolphins are still bringing that pressure. They're still bringing the heat. And they're still playing man coverage on the back end. So, with that being said, the receivers also have to get open, right? I'm not going to turn this into a full game preview. But at the end of the day, if the Ravens can play faster, they can wear defenses out. You can run the ball on tired defenses. You can pass the ball on tired defenses. But every time you get to the line of scrimmage with five sacks left on the play clock and Lamar just has to rush the play, you're not getting the best out of this offense. So that's one of the things that I know was troubling many Ravens fans, myself included, was why is everything so slow? Harbaugh kind of gave an answer to that. To me, that answer is really, it's not good enough. I don't know how much he really felt comfortable sharing. You know, I guess you don't want to put too much out there for the opposing team. Uh, but at the end of the day, if it is because the play calls are too long or whatever, get it together. Come on now. Lamar Jackson has full control of this offense. He doesn't need these long play calls explaining to him every little thing on the field. Let him get a shorter play call in. Let the let the rest of the guys know what the play call is, right? Uh, so that's my that's one of the things that I'm watching for this Sunday. Do the Ravens actually get to the line of scrimmage faster, play faster, and actually put some more pressure on the defense on the back end? Um, because, you know, they're running with some up-tempo. Can they make a defense tired? And a defense like the Dolphins that's going to want a zero blitz and things like that, because I can imagine they're going to want to do a lot of the same game plan they did from last year. Well, that's going to be very, very tiring if they keep doing that. So that's what I'm interested in seeing. Uh, let me know what you guys think, right? Um, is it on Lamar Jackson? Is it on Greg Roman uh, to get the play call in faster? We'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.